Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 627. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book but you're having some trouble getting it done, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning, happy Writer Wednesday. I am your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc. Like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. You will never find time for anything. If you want time, you must make it. Charles Buxton. Of course, I love that quote. That's something I talk about a lot. And once again, good morning and happy Writer Wednesday, everyone. I was talking about recently how members of my Writers Club Live group coaching program recently got together for our December meeting, and we did a kind of a 2020 accomplishment and 2021 goals roundup. And I'm including you in those assignments this week. You all get to become temporary members of Writers Club Live, where I'm sharing the same journaling questions and assignments that I did with my Writers Club Live members. So yesterday in episode number 626, we looked at your 2021 work in progress. You're the manuscript you'll be kicking off the year with, and we started setting goals and habits there. And today, and this is the final day of our goal planning process, let's zoom out and look at your overall author brand, the foundation of all your writing and who you are as an author. I find that doing this, like kind of zooming out of your writing project and looking at yourself as an author, it can fortify your why as to, you know, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through writing all these books and all this? It can give you just a stronger idea of who you are as an author, who you're being of service to, and really, again, you know, that reinforces the importance of like kind of the day-to-day grind of all the writing caves. So I really like looking at author brand for this reason, to really fortify your why. So we have some journaling questions. And number one, who are you as an author? And now think not just of this book, your current work in progress, but even if you're, if you're dreaming big, your future ones too. What is at the core of your books, of the core of your work? Is there a certain message, perspective, emotions, type of characters? Certain core values, what is at the core? Peel the onion, do some journaling here. What are you communicating through your work that is possibly even bigger than your books themselves? Who are you as an author? Number two, what do you want people to say about you as an author? In other words, think about the, your target audience. Think about the people that you're being of service to, these people, these, these lives that you're undoubtedly impacting what do you want them to say about you? Not to be morbid, but like after you die, but just in general, what, what do you want your reputation to look like? You know, what value do you want them to kind of quote about you if they say, you know, why do you love this author? Well, because they inspired me to blah, blah, blah. So what do you want people to say about you? And finally, number three, how can you start being this person that we've talked about today? Who are you as an author? What do you want people to say about you? How can you start being this person in your content now, today, social media, even before you've written your book or, you know, maybe you've written one of your book and books and you're writing additional ones, even if you're in the middle of the book writing process, how can you start being this person, being this author brand, being of service to your target readers, to your target audience, even maybe before you've even released your books? How can you start being this person today? It's kind of like acting as if. And if you take nothing else into your 2021 as an author, please just take this. A very special message for you to wrap up our our goal planning session this week. You accomplished more than you think you did in 2020. And you will do the same in 2021, even if it doesn't seem like that. You are truly capable of making your writing dreams come true, and I believe in you. And if you do need the support of a group of other authors who will also support and believe in you, I will drop the link to my Writers Club Live program in the show notes. You can get more information about this fabulous group of people that I'm talking about. And as always, I drop the link to Ink Authors on Facebook, another great place to get support, all about helping you guys get the support you need to be amazing authors and impact lives. 
Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Until tomorrow, happy writing.